ओके गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक एंड मोनोसिस्ट्रॉनिक जीन्स और पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक एंड मोनोसिस्ट्रॉनिक एम आर एन ए में सिंजर आर एन ए नाउ द कंसेप्ट ऑफ जीन वी हैव डिस्कस सो फार वॉट इज अ जीन वॉट आर सिस्ट्रॉन म्यूट्रॉन रेकॉन्स वॉट आर ओवरलैपिंग जीन्स वॉट आर स्प्लिट जीन्स नाउ लेट इज डिस्कस अबाउट पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक एंड मोनोसिस्ट्रॉनिक जीन्स एंड देयर एम आर एन एज वॉट इज द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ मोनोसिस्ट्रॉनिक एंड अ पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक एम आर एन ए द मेन डिफरेंस इज दैट मोनोसिस्ट्रॉनिक एम आर एन ए प्रोड्यूसेस अ सिंगल प्रोटीन और मोनोसिस्ट्रॉनिक एम आर एन ए कंटेन्स इन्फॉर्मेशन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ अ सिंगल प्रोटीन सो द नेम मोनोसिस्ट्रॉनिक एम आर एन ए वाइल अ पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक एम आर एन ए प्रोड्यूसेस सेवरल प्रोटीन्स दैट आर फंक्शनली रिलेटेड सो अ पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक मैसेजर और अ पॉलिसिस्ट्रॉनिक एम आर एन ए कंटेन्स इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ सेवरल प्रोटीन्स दैट आर functionally related further eukaryotes generally contain monocystronic mrna while prokaryotes contain polycystronic mrna remember so monocystron monocystronic mrna is generally found in eukaryotic organisms of course owing to the size of the organism whereas prokaryotes because of their small size generally contain prokaryotic mrna they generally synthesize prokaryotic mrna okay Now, what is a monocystronic mRNA? What is the difference between a monocystronic and a polycystronic that we are going to discuss? A mRNA molecule is said to be monocystronic when it contains genetic information to translate into a single protein, which codes for a single protein. This is the case for most eukaryotic organisms. Okay, what is a monocystronic mRNA? A mRNA molecule which contains genetic information for coding a single protein. Okay, to get translated into a single protein. this is generally found in eukaryotic organism now what does the eukaryotic organism contain eukaryotic organisms contain only uh, monocystronic messengers second five prime at the five prime end seven methyl guanosine cap is present okay at the five prime end what are the specialities of a uk i mean monocystronic messenger rna in case of eukaryotes so in eukaryotes only monocystronic mrna is present at the 5 prime end 7 methyl guanosine cap is present at the 3 prime end poly a tail is present remember okay at the 5 prime end 5 7 methyl guanosine cap is present 3 prime poly a tail is present then the ribosome binding or shine dalgarno sequence is absent eukaryotic rna or eukaryotic organism does not contain sd sequence the ribosome binding or sd sequence is absent in eukaryotic organism that is it is absent in monocystronic messengers is that clear so these points are to be kept in mind so here we have shown a comparison between polycystronic and monocystronic i'll come to that later okay so if you can look at the eukaryotic gene this is a eukaryotic gene having 5 prime end and 3 prime end <clears throat> gets transcribed okay eukaryotic organism just now we have discussed in the last uh, lecture uh, eukaryotic genes contain intron and exon right so <clears throat> the here we have shown this is 5 prime region this is 3 prime region at the 5 prime region 7 methyl guanosine cap is present and at the 3 prime end poly a tail is present okay so there are introns and exons present so this <coughs> ruled one is representing the exon so the whole uh, gene is first transcribed into intron exon all and then post transcriptional modification takes place after that what we get is a mature mrna this mature mrna is actually a monocystronic mrna having 5 methyl guanosine cap at the 5 prime end there is 5 methyl guanosine cap and at the 3 prime end there is poly a tail and this mature mrna is going to form a single protein okay so monocystronic messenger forms a single protein now if you look at a polycystronic messenger what is that a polycystronic mrna what is it an mrna is said to be polycystronic when it carries information of several group of genes okay mrna is called as polycystronic messenger when it 
uh, share, I mean, contains the information of several group of genes which are translated into several proteins. Okay, so a polycystonic messenger RNA gets translated into several proteins because it contains information for the synthesis of several proteins. These proteins have usually a related function, functionally related traits. Okay, so the proteins that are formed from a polycystronic messenger are generally functionally related proteins and are grouped together and are regulated in an operon. We are going to study operon in detail. So, <clears throat> mRNA is said to be polycystronic when it contains information for the synthesis of several proteins. These several proteins are functionally related proteins and hence their genes are grouped together and regulated in an operon. Now, most of the mRNA that is found in prokaryotic organism that is especially bacteria and archaebacteria are polycystronic okay so polycystronic mrna are found mostly in prokaryotes especially bacteria and archaebacteria so the prokaryotic organism contains mostly polycystronic mrna and rarely monocystronic okay so what does prokaryotic contain mostly polycystronic mrna rarely monocystronic then second point to be kept in mind at the 5 prime end 7 methyl guanosine cap is absent at the 5 prime end 7 methyl guanosine cap is absent in polycystronic mrna there is no poly a tail at 3 prime end okay at the 3 prime end poly a tail is absent whereas one thing to be remembered is in case of polycystronic messenger or in prokaryotes ribosome binding site or sd sequence is present okay ribosome binding site or shine dalgarno sequence is present okay so this is about polycystronic messenger so this is a dna which we call as polycystronic gene you can say the a b c polycystronic genes are present now, the whole DNA gets co-transcribed into a single mRNA uh, that is called as polycystronic messenger. So, this one is a polycystronic messenger. Okay. And then, <clears throat> processing of the genes will take place. I mean, processing of the mRNA will take place. Several, you can say, uh, initiation and termination codons are present. Several. Okay, so at a time the ribosome will bind at different sites that is SD site and A, um, I mean from A protein A will be formed and from B protein B will be formed and from C protein C will be formed like is the case. Okay, so this is a polycystronic RNA. There is no 7 uh, methyl, I mean 7 uh, methyl guanosine cap at the 5 prime end. There is no poly A tail at the 3 prime end. So, all the three proteins are formed A, B and C and processing how this, is how, this diagram is telling us how processing of the mRNA in case of prokaryotes take place. Okay. Now, if you compare the polycystronic and monocystronic mRNA, if you look at a polycystronic mRNA, first spacers actually uh, along with uh, introns, spacers are also present. Okay. So, this is a uh, prokaryotic mRNA right uh, in case of prokaryotic mrna which is polycystronic okay so at the 5 prime end there is phosphate group only there is no 7 methyl guanosine cap no 3 prime poly a tail okay so several uh, you can say initiation and several termination codons are present okay so aug aug are all so several initiation codons so from here uh, we will start the synthesis of first protein say alpha protein then beta protein then gamma protein like that protein 1 protein 2 protein 3 like that okay so there are several initiation codons as you can see here so first protein then second protein then third protein will be synthesized maybe at the same time also sometimes or first protein then followed by second and followed by third so in between you can see all initiation codons are present and termination codons are present so right in case of eukaryotes however it codes only for one protein which we call as monocystronic messenger. Here at the 5 prime end, uh, 7 methyl guanosine cap is present and at the 3 prime end you can see poly A tail is present. Okay, So at the 3 prime end <coughs> poly A tail and here 
a cap is present. 7 methyl guanosine cap is present, right? Now, in case of um, eukaryotes, that is monocystronic, introns and exons are present. Exons and introns are present. Introns are not present in the protein. Introns do not participate in protein. Okay, so eukaryotic mRNA, which is monocystronic, produces only one protein, right? So here, the red color, in this red color, we have shown the ribosome binding site. This is the coding sequence that is exon and this dark blue color is the non-coding sequence that is the intron. Is that clear? So, and a termination codon. As here we have shown in green color, it is the termination codon. This is also the termination codon. Okay. So, this is all about polycystronic and monocystronic messenger. Now, eukaryotic mRNA does not need to be polycystronic and one gene, one protein hypothesis is viable here in case of eukaryotes. However, with prokaryotic organism, it is sensible and economical that all functionally related proteins are synthesized together. For example, in lycopyrin, okay, so in prokaryote, it is sensible as well as economical owing to their small size that functionally related proteins are synthesized together as in case of lycopyrin. All enzymes, for example, in case of lacoperons, what happens? All enzymes required for the update, uptake and breakdown of lactose and make it accessible are transcribed and translated together in an operon, right? But they are all present together in an operon. So, we are going to study operon in detail next. So, eukaryotic mRNA is not polycystronic. Eukaryotic mRNA is monocystronic while prokaryotic mRNA is polycystronic. So, that is all about polycystronic and monocystronic messenger.